was good. Hey! Okay, first off, sorry for wearing glasses and not, you know, kind of like looking at you like this, but it is really hot out today and the glasses are necessary. I'll be pretty much squinting the whole time if I don't wear them anyways. Um, today, I wanted to um, take a quick visit to one of my favorite little artsy places in Toronto. Um, if you haven't been to Toronto, it, it does definitely have a creative side to it. Whether you're an entrepreneur or an artist, there's definitely a creative bunch of people who live here. <laughs> so what I wanted to show you guys is um, what's called the Graffiti Alley in Toronto. Now I don't know if you can see around me, but there is tons of incredible graffiti, but not just like vandalism type of graffiti, but actually really gorgeous art. There's an alley that stretches just south of Queen West from Spadina to maybe almost Portland and um, you can see all kinds of incredible art. All right, let's take a look. Okay, I just found the best sign in all of Toronto. Why are you so awesome? It's a hat. <laughs> what are you using to actually? Blue it? Yeah. Epoxy. Oh. I have no idea if it'll work. I've never used it before, but I'm hoping this idea will work. <laughs> Apparently, it's supposed to prop it for five minutes, so I'm hoping it'll work. And I was driving one day and just like had this idea, so I was like, all right. Let's try it. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Gino. Gino? Yeah. Gino Graffiti. That's it. How'd you get into graffiti? You always uh, like drew and... I've been like messing around with it since like high school. Yeah. But I started getting serious about it like five years ago. Oh yeah? And I decided to like start drawing and taking it seriously. But I'm not making money doing it. So yeah? How do you make money doing that? Uh, like businesses call me to do uh, whatever they want. Like outside, inside projects. Oh cool. Yeah, like murals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. People call me to do canvases too. That's pretty cool. Goal is to be in a gallery, but you know, that's hard to make. Hard to make as an artist, right? So, do you do? A have you done a lot of stuff here in Graffiti Alley? This is my first piece here. Yeah. I wanted before I came here. It took me five years. I wanted to do something that nobody has done before. So. That's so awesome. Like nobody has done this before. Right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> nobody has done that so before. So I wanna stand out, you know. So how do you like if somebody like sees this? Like, how do they know how to get in contact with you? Honestly, people, these people, they don't, like, I'm going to leave my Instagram here. Oh, so if people want to check me on Instagram, that's fine. Because, I mean, this is legal alley, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I don't, I'm not a tagger. Like, I don't go around city vandal vandalizing. Yeah. I categorize myself as a street artist. So, um. What is your Instagram? I'll put it on the video. That's it. Gino.graffiti. Gino.graffiti. Yeah. So I'm going to put an Instagram stencil there in a bit. I'm looking for the one. Have you guys seen it? The one it says Toronto? No. I've walked down here a million times and I've never seen it. Alright, I'm vlogging, so I'm gonna put you in my vlog here. Oh dear. From Look, Denver! Hi! <laughs> My nails. My nails getting all up in the way. That's me. There we go. So I just followed you. Oh, is that your baby? Okay, bye Melissa. Have a great trip. You too. Instagrammers uniting in the graffiti alley. Melissa, if you're watching this video, I hope you had a great time in Toronto and that you'll be back soon. Found it. We found it, guys. This is the one. This is the one that I was trying. I came here to find. I feel like I found treasure. Here we go, Toronto represent, gorgeous.